Be sure to cut the meat into small pieces. Come on, I never forget that. Okay, yeah, you you did forget. Thanks again. Tenth. Whoa. Thanks. I can find the pans and spoons and stuff, so just bring the meat to his place whenever, man. Do I have? I can find the pan. Ah, I don't have. It's gonna be the apple. Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. It was calling my name, you know. The oh, please eat me. Yes, I'm so tasty and juicy. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? <laughs> it's exactly what I hate about you. Is my wit ready? Finally, it's ready. Yona. Hey, Yona. I got your ingredients. Yay! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get started right now. Yona, wait. Remind her not to boil it for too long. Remind her to cut the meat into small pieces. Uh, she made the stew. I don't know how to cook stew. The meat needs to be the small pieces. But you also need to boil it, but obviously not too much. Let me do the meat into small pieces. Be sure to cut the meat into small pieces. Come on, I'd never forget that. Okay, yeah, you you did forget. <clears throat> this smells hideous. She boiled it so long, it's like one big pot of slurry. Heat up, okay? Oof. Sh sure, Yona. It looks, um, great. Tomorrow, Yona's not gonna be the only one here who's sick. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Say, next time you go out, could you pick something up for me? What do you want? Sure, Yona. What do you need? <clears throat> A melon. A melon? You got it. I think I have melons. Don't forget the map. No, I don't have melons. Okay. Yona, I, I have your, your melon. melon. Thanks. If there's anything else you want, just let me know. Well, since you offered, would you mind getting me a watermelon? <laughs> a watermelon this time? Sure thing. Okay, I don't know where to find a watermelon, so it's gonna take a while. The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Yep. Yeah, it was something, all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Nah. I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? No. The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried, so maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. No problem. A canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh. Really? Interesting. You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know. <laughs> uh, what do you need? Excuse me, but have you seen my son? No, I don't know how he looks. I don't think so. Why? Is something wrong? When I got home, I found a note from him that said he was leaving and not to look for him. What if he's left the village? Please, you have to help me. I'll pay you whatever you want. My son shouldn't be too hard to spot. He wears a very odd hat. You can see it from a mile away. 
Okay, an old okay. hut. If I see him, I'll let him know his father is worried about him. Okay, if I see an old hut, I need to remember to talk to him. Hello? Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Oh god, it's over. My life is over. Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Wow, oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Er, uh, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated <clears throat> outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. There are Gucci bags. Now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, all right? You sit tight. Okay, I need to find people. To that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hey there, I'm a uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Oh, it's the is the vase behind her. I thought it was the red bag. My bad. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home, and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here, either. Though, come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Ah, uh, thank three. you, but I don't drink. Uh, sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Or that. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Oh. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. That's not good news. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Um, I will go have a look for the missing person. That there's someone here with an odd heart, and then we go to find the lady. Oh, there you are. Hey. Are you the kid who ran away from home? Huh? Oh man, how'd you... Your father's worried sick about you. Why'd you leave anyway? Because he wants me to like, take up the family business. And I ain't doing it, man. I'm a rebel. Yes, we can see that. Well, perhaps you should let your father know that you're alive and well, and also explain to him why you left. Oh man, why do people always gotta hassle me? Yeah, all right, I'll do it. But first, you gotta do something for me, man. The guy who runs the tavern's been helping me since I got here. And I want to give him something nice. I was thinking I could, like, cook dinner or something. But I don't have any ingredients or whatever, so... Yeah. If it'll get you back home to your father sooner, then fine. I'll help. This guy, man, he don't eat nothing but fish. All the time, every day. Fish, fish, fish. So I was thinking he might, like, want to try eating meat or whatever. You know, for a change. So could you get me, like, five pieces of mutton and three pieces of goat meat? I can find the pans and spoons and stuff, so just bring the meat to his place whenever, man. Do I have? I 
can find the pit. Ah, I don't have. Now, what about you? Are you all done? Hey, how'd everything go? Oh, it went um fine. It was fine. Glad to hear it. So you don't look very happy. Yeah, well, I didn't realize this until I got on the boat, but apparently I get seasick. Horribly, violently seasick. The smell in my cabin was just unspeakable. I had no idea one guy could create that much, um, you know. Stink. Barf? I really want to stay in the trading business, but I don't think that's going to be possible if I can't sail. Anyway, here's your payment. Thanks again. Tenth. Whoa. Thanks, and uh, good luck. I never imagined my dreams would be dashed quite like this. What a bummer. What a tremendous wow, waste 10, of our time. Who knew the guy would get seasick? Maybe next time he can try finding work that doesn't involve the ocean. Maybe next time he'll try sitting at home and doing nothing. You think you can stop me? Hmm. Get Something away. about that shade seems rather odd. Really? Are you sure? I think he's gonna die now. Ba -ba 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 -ba. A red bag. Oh uh oh. Hey, look at this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Do you think the shades got her? Yep. I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Hey! Did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a shade. Oh no! This... this is hers! Yep. So our fears were correct. Oh God, how could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. Uh, yeah, let me if ask. If I me. may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because, because I cheated. <laughs> what do you do? I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. You think so? I knew you cheated. Dumpling, you're not dead. Huh? Never mind. What in the world are you talking about? Oh, oh, you found my bag. Thank you so much. I can't believe I went and dropped it like that. Oh, really? Oh, this is such a relief. <laughs> okay, seriously, what's going on? Well, we thought you were dead. I see. So, he found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? Yes. I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. Listen, I promise an I'll apple. eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week. <laughs> Remember? Jesus Christ, bro. He has, he has Alzheimer. Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um, Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. <laughs> Let's go. Stick around. I, well, I want to listen. I can't believe you didn't listen to me. And you ate my apple. Ugh. You are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? No. 
Wait, you're asking me? <laughs> Look. The whoa, 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 no. I want to say the husband's fault for not remembering. Not for losing the bag. There is no one. Uh, it's just an apple, man, and it's just a bag. Uh, who cares? So she's mad. Actually, she gets mad when you eat her food. And he gets sad, angry, whatever, when they're not wearing the bag. So it's kind of both. I would say anniversary. Because in the anniversary, she didn't wear the bag. So I would say... No, that's lost the bag, so it doesn't matter. So it's, it's gonna be the apple. Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. It was calling my name, you know. The oh, please eat me. Yes, I'm so tasty and juicy. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Shut up. Uh, oh, did I cross a line there? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Whoa! You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there. My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the wrong? The hoarding slob of a husband, the collection tossing wife. Honestly, both of them. Oh. Enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Good talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. Okay, that's uh, done. Couples, ladies and gentlemen. Relationships bring problems. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? <laughs> exactly what I hate about you. Fine, hate me. I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you. Vice, what do I do? We leave. You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it. I have had enough. What will happen? Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Ooh. Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Fixing the canal. Wait, he what? You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great. Well, I sort of wanted it to be <laughs> a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. <gasps> I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I, I, I want an apple pie. They're tasty. I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. Well, looks like they made up, so... All's well that ends well? Mm, yeah, I guess. In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. To fix the canal. Oh, heck, the canal. We need to ask him about the canal. Yes. Where is he? There he is. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. All right. That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Yes. Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Nice. Wonderful. Now, let's go back to Popola. Was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Yeah, let's go. 